Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Joy Kekovic, Norwex Independent Consultant, and we are in the kitchen again today, specifically going to be tackling a couple of uh, those jobs that maybe we don't do quite so often. One being the microwave and two being the refrigerator. So in this video, I'm going to kind of share with you a couple of great tools that make these jobs faster, easier, safer, obviously going to radically reduce your use and exposure to harmful chemicals as well as radically reduce your use of paper towels. Um, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of general kitchen cleaning as well, some of my must-haves, and just ways in which we can kind of retrain ourselves and create some better, safer, healthier habits when it comes to the things that we grab in our kitchen for cleanup. Sound good? All right, so I'm gonna start here with a couple of things that I love for either refrigerator or um, microwave cleaning and that is these two little tools here. This one I actually already got wet. Um, so this is called an Enviro scrub. It's an Enviro cloth material on one side and a scrubby material on the other. These come in a set of three and they have like a little bit of a quilted batting in it so it's not really a sponge but it does have a little bit of um, kind of a softness and plushness to it when you squeeze it. And what I love about this is its size. I have kind of a smaller hand, so some of the smaller tools tend to work a little bit better for me. So I like that I can just put this right in my hand like this. I can use the scrubby side um, or I can use the microfiber side. And then the other tool that I highly recommend and I really love is our Enviro sponge. This is a washable, reusable sponge. Both of these obviously washable, reusable. So an EnviroCloth material on one side and then a scrubby material on the other. So this is really, really handy for um, quick kitchen cleanup, refrigerator, microwave. Um, these come in a set of two. Some people like to dedicate one for bathroom cleanup and one for kitchen cleanup, but it's kind of up to you. So set of three for the Enviro scrubs in blue or graphite or a set of two for the Enviro sponges in the graphite. Hey there, hello. Go ahead and comment. Let me know that you're here. Happy that you're here. Um, so one of the things that I like to do with my refrigerator cleanup typically is when I'm doing my general kitchen cleanup, I have my kitchen cloth. So we have matching kitchen cloths and towels. The weave of this, you can see it's a ribbed weaving and you can kind of have like a see-through type area here. So these thicker wet, um, ribbed weaves these are your real plush, thick kind of um, microfiber and it's going to really get um, all of the buildup and the grease and stuff off of your surfaces, but it will grab your crumbs and what I like about the kitchen cloth is that it rinses nice and clean um, underneath your faucet, which is super handy when you're dealing with stuff in the kitchen. So typically what I'm doing after I've done the dishes, I'm wiping down counters, I'm using my um, kitchen cloth and I'll just go ahead and clean like the front of my microwave and that way it looks nice. It'll dry nice and streak free and on these little buttons here I can usually feel if there's like a little bit of buildup. So I'll just go over those parts again and that's kind of my general like okay at least it looks good from the outside. <laughs> so that's generally what I do for just gen for quick kitchen cleanup is my kitchen cloth. But when I want to clean the inside of it, um, I want something that's going to be a little bit tougher on some of the buildup. So I'm going to take my camera here. I have no idea if you're going to be able to see with the light some of these spots that are right here on the inside of my microwave. My microwave doesn't look bad on camera, but it's kind of a greasy mess still. So obviously the tray I would wash with in my dish in my um, dishwater. So I would wash this with my dish dishwashing liquid. There's a lot of junk on here. I'd use my netted dishcloth. So I would clean it with that. If I have a lot of food in here, I would use my netted dishcloth to grab that food. I would just quick grab it. And then I would take it over to the sink and the disposal and go ahead and put it down in there. So I love my netted dishcloth for that. 
And then I would take one of these great tools to actually clean the inside. So either your Enviro sponge or your Enviro scrubs. And really, I mean, the scrubby part's a little bit different, but it really is just a preference. If you prefer something like that you're grabbing onto, the sponge type feel in your hand, um, then go for these. If you want something that you just use more flat, um, and this is great for in the refrigerator because it's a little bit larger and you can just use it nice and flat. Um, so it's up to you with that. I'm going to use the scrubby side first to get the hard food off. And when you're mechanically cleaning with Norwex, you're just using the water, but you can actually feel when the surface is clean, like when you have everything off. You can feel that, then I would probably try and reach in the back a little bit. I'm switching over just to quick do the microfiber side, the EnviroCloth side, just to grab that super fast and easy. Same thing here with this splatter that's on the inside of the door. I'll use the scrubby side first, and then I'll flip it over to the EnviroCloth side and then I clean that all off super fast and easy, no harmful chemicals. So once upon a time, y'all, <laughs> I was totally clueless about harmful chemicals. We all start somewhere, right? We don't know until we know. Plain and simple, we don't know until we know. And I did not know that um, your traditional kitchen cleaners had harmful chemicals in them. And I would clean my microwave and my refrigerator and other kitchen surfaces with Formula 409. Yeah, that's how clueless I was. <laughs> so now I know, knowledge is power. That's why you're here, right, to learn. So I was heating up harmful chemicals with my food. I was putting harmful chemicals in my refrigerator where my food is. I was putting harmful chemicals on my kitchen surfaces where I prepare food. I truly just didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. Um, and so that's what's so great about switching to Norwex. They're tools that you know you're going to need. You're, you're cleaning your kitchen practically constantly. <laughs> Does it feel like that? <laughs> hey, Kim, how are you? <laughs> yes, you loved your bleach. I remember that. <laughs> Kim's my skeptic turned, uh, <laughs> turned um, absolute uh, lover of Norwex. <laughs> so I, I remember that about you, Kim. So that's one of the things that we, you know, that's why we educate people because we just didn't know. I, um, I will grab my counter cloths pretty regularly. This is going to radically reduce your use of paper towel. What we need to do is we need to make this healthy cleaning um, really easy and simple. So instead of having paper towel on our countertop, we need to have something like this or we need to have our kitchen cloths hanging on a hook and ready to grab so that we're not grabbing for the paper towel all the time. Um, and sometimes people think, oh, paper towel is kind of a healthier choice, but you know, it's not good for the earth. You're using it one time and throwing it in the trash, and so it's highly expensive. Um, 51,000 trees are cut down daily just for the North Americans' um, paper towel habit, so that's pretty scary. Uh, and then the paper itself is processed with harmful chemicals. So you think that it's just a paper towel, but really it's paper mixed with maybe like, oh, I don't know, formaldehyde. Oh, a carcinogen. Oh, so it's not always as healthy as you think. It may seem innocent, but it's not. And, you know, just like the dishwashing liquid post that I did um, just a little bit ago, you've got those um, products that look like they're going to be great products but then they still can have something or many things still with harmful ingredients in it overall. And that's why when you're choosing something, you need to just have that knowledge. You need to have, you need to partner with somebody who's done the research and you need to really feel confident in your choices. So um, just something, yeah, I know. Kim, I recently learned that myself about the paper towels. I did not Again, I'm always, I'm constantly learning new things, which I absolutely, I love. I think that's super important. So when it comes to your uh, refrigerator cleaning, grab your Enviro scrub, get it wet, wring it out, or your Enviro sponge, get it wet, wring it out. You can use the scrubby side, microfiber side for just kind of cleaning things out. 
but then you're not putting anything harmful onto your surfaces. It's super fast and easy. And then of course you just wash these and reuse them. They are lined with microsilver. So after they've gotten wet and you've used them, I'll just take this and this, and I'll rinse it out underneath the faucet, wring it out, hang it to dry. I'll use it several more times. Um, and then typically I wash my microfiber once a week. Um, and of course, Norwex detergent is best because there's no fillers in it, um, no harmful uh, perfumes or fragrances, nothing that's gonna be harmful for your skin or for the waterways. Um, and then uh, no bleach, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets. And I do dry these in the dryer as well. The one couple things I don't dry in the dryer, I typically don't dry my netted dishcloth um, and I typically don't dry my dish drying mat. Let me grab that. So this one, because of this like mesh that's on this side, it's recommended that you air dry this. But otherwise, your microfiber, for the most part, you just wash it and you dry it and you wash and dry as needed. So you're not constantly having to grab a new cloth, let the microsilver work to self-purify the cloth in between uses, and then launder it when you're feeling like, yeah, it's time for me to launder it. But you're not gonna get that stinky, stinky cloth like you typically would. So general cleaning, kitchen cloth, big spills, messes, hand washing dishes, your netted dishcloth, and then this is a great tool for um, stove tops and you can even use this, one of these in your bathroom, your Enviro scrubs for refrigerator, microwave, or your Enviro sponge. So we've got a lot of tools and just let us know, you know, ask some questions, let us know what you think you need a specific tool for, what's gonna make life easier. Because like I said before, we're constantly cleaning in the kitchen. So we wanna make it faster, we wanna make it easier, we wanna make it healthier and safer. Um, but also we want to make sure that we aren't um, using a lot of paper towel and throwing a bunch of stuff in the trash because we want it to be, you know, better for the environment and better for our pocketbooks. So hopefully you enjoyed this demo. I am enjoying the sunshine today. Let me know if you have any questions. Always happy to help and I will see you soon.